My name is Meredith and I am the GoPro mom. And this is video number three in my GoPro Studio series on how to use the software that GoPro puts out called GoPro Studio. Today we're gonna add some music and some sound effects to our video. We're gonna talk about titles and transitions and things like that. So join me at my computer. So just a review, in video number one, we went through kind of an overview of GoPro Studio where I showed you how to import clips and then trim those clips and then convert those clips in GoPro Studio and then how to put them in your timeline and export those clips as a movie. Um, it was a really quick kind of overview, kind of an introduction to GoPro Studio. And then in video number two, I showed you how to put together multiple clips and I used this example of our one day vacation at Hershey Park over this past summer. And I had about 45 clips I imported those, I trimmed them up just to make sure that I was only using the footage that I really wanted that was going to be really valuable to my movie. And then I sort of fast forwarded through adding them all into my timeline into the order that I wanted. So you, you didn't have to sit there and watch me do that for like 30 minutes. So here we are with all of our clips in our timeline. They're all pretty much in the order that I want them to be in. And I could export the movie just the way that it is, but I think it's missing a little bit, um, especially music and maybe a few titles and possibly some transitions. Um, so we're going to go over those three things today in video number three. So we're in step number two within GoPro Studio, which is the edit step. And this is the same exact file that I used in my video number two when I imported my 45 clips and put them all in my timeline. I'm just starting now where I left off then. So I think the first thing that we're gonna do is get some music into our movie. Now I have music on my computer that I can use that's either royalty free, I either paid for it or I downloaded it for free. Um, there's lots of places online where you can legally download music for free and use it in your movies. So I'm gonna come over here to the left hand side up here where it says media, it has a little plus sign. And I'm going to find some of the music that's on my computer currently. And I know that I have at least one on here that I'd like to use. Um, looks like this one's called For All You Know. So this is going to come in over here on the left hand side somewhere. It's way down here at the bottom. So I have that file in here. It's 1 minute 53 seconds long and I'm gonna drag it over here to where the little microphone is right there and you can see it's just gonna try to fit in right there. I'm gonna move it over so that it's starting where my movie starts. Now I could just leave it just like this not mess with it or um, I could adjust the volume if I want it to be louder or quieter depending on what's going on in the movie. If there's people talking and there's stuff that you want to hear that's in your actual footage then you're going to want your music level to be down lower and vice versa if there's if the music is what you want to focus on you might want your video footage to be down lower so it's up to you how you want to do it i think i'm just going to leave everything kind of default right now and figure out where we're at so this particular song cuts out right here and I wonder what it sounds like. So you can sort of tell here at like the footage audio is really loud. Um, so in this situation, I, I guess I'd probably want to turn that volume down. And I have a lot of clips and probably all of them are going to want to be down. Uh, but I know that this one, I think think I think we were talking here and I wanted to get some of the voice from my kid yeah right there but right here the the music is so low right here anyway so it doesn't matter I don't even have to mess with it then it gets louder and the kids are riding the rides and whatnot so so far so good on our audio um oh yeah it's children screaming Got to have that in our home movies. Now, one of the things that I like to do with the music is kind of line things up 
with the music and the video. So if you notice there, the, the music had a little bit of a transition. And then like maybe three seconds later, the video had a little bit of a transition. So if you can line those up a little better, it kind of makes your movie um, kind of flow a little bit better and it makes it like seem a little more intentional, like you actually know what you're doing with your video editing. So I wanna find the right place to transition here. All right, so right there is where we have a transition in the music. And this is just the kids flying around on this thing. So I don't have to get, you know, every single moment of that clip. So right here where the music transitions, that's where I want my clip to transition to the next clip. So I'm going to mark an out point right here. If you remember that from the previous videos. And that's where we're going to transition to the next clip. So this is when we're getting on the sky view thing. So far so good. Um, I know it gets to a point where it seems a little bit loud in our um, footage and we want to kind of um, reduce that noise maybe a little bit. But so far it seems like it's okay. Alright, so I think we're all set there. Um, now this is not a very long piece of music here. so. We're going to have to transition to something else in just a minute. So um, you can see here that at the end of the little sky coaster ride um, is where our music ends. And then we're on a different ride. So right there will be a good spot to kind of cut our sky coaster um, footage a little bit short. So we will stop this right about there. I'm going to mark my, so this is where I want my clip to end. I'm going to mark my out point and we're all set with that and then we can transition into the very next ride okay so now that that song has ended and we transition to the next ride that's actually the last little clip in this ride section if you recall from video two I sectioned my movie into three sections we had the rides that we went on when we first got to Hershey Park and then we had a whole bunch of water park clips and then we had the ferris wheel clips at the very end so there's only this one little section here um this one little clip and i don't want to i don't want to edit that out but it's kind of awkward because it's right at the end and the music has already ended so what i'm going to do is just let the music end and then we just have a little bit of a moment without any music which is totally fine so at the end of this clip then i'm going to move my bar I'm going to move my bar over. So the end of this clip, this is where we're going to want our next music to start. So I have my next song that I'm going to drag over here. I want it to start right, right about there. Um, I guess right when we get to the water park area. Okay, so this is kind of exciting music and you know, that'll work. I'm going to slide this over just a touch so that it lines up a little bit better with that section. And I'm going to go through and see how long is this music. Uh, this looks, it looks like it's going all the way through our water park section, which is good. And wow, it's actually very long. So this will take us all the way to the end of the movie, which is great. So this is where we transition from water park to the Ferris wheel. Let's just see how that sounds. So you might notice that you might notice that I have this weird little split thing here in my music file. Um, I was trying to do something kind of complicated, which um, GoPro Studio is not a very complicated program. So it's a simple program. I'm trying to do something complicated with it, um, and so I kind of hacked something together. But I have the same exact music file here, it's just here in two different instances, because you have a place where you can have two different music files. Um, so basically it's the same song, one file ends and fades out, and the other file of the same song is on a lower volume. So one ends and the other one starts. 
um, but it kind of transitions a little bit easier and I can control the volume on this little Ferris wheel section because we have, you know, it's, we're kind of wound down a little bit and we're having conversations and I want to be able to hear that all in the movie. So we've got music laid down for the entire movie here and I'm going to drag my end um, so that it matches up over there. So we have a great start here at a home movie with some really great music. Um, let's talk about transitions. Transitions are one of those things that you want to use in moderation. You don't really need to have transitions in between every single one of your clips. Um, if you want it to kind of feel like a real movie, then just having, you know, going from one clip to another without any transition is the way to go. Um, one place that you might want to put transitions, that it makes sense to put transitions, is in between different like sort of sections of your movie. I mentioned that my movie here has three sections, the rides, the water park, and the Ferris wheel. So, and those are in completely different um, locations at Hershey Park. So it makes a lot of sense to have some kind of a transition to kind of separate those two sections so that the viewer knows that you're going from one thing into another thing. So I'm going to add my first transition here between the ride section and the water park section. And all I'm going to do is hit this little plus sign. And it's going to put a transition in there for me automatically. Isn't that cool? And then at the end of the water park and before the Ferris wheel, I'm going to put another transition. And that's all the transitions that I'm going to use in the entire movie. Okay, so like I said, use transitions in moderation. Don't put them between every single clip. It's not necessary and it's kind of overkill. Next we have titles. So you can see here we have, this is our title um, spot on the timeline. And to add a title, you're gonna come over here on the left hand side. And it's if you press that there, little plus button, then you get a title over here um, down at the end of your clips. And if you double click on that, over here on the right hand side is where you can add in your actual title. So we're going to say Hershey Park August 2014. So it shows you on, you know, in your preview window here, it shows you what that looks like. That's obviously not where, you know, exactly where we want our title to be or how we want it to look. Um, so I'm going to hit my enter button here and see if I can get it down a little bit so that it makes a little more sense and it's a little more visually um, pleasing, I guess you could say. Um, so we can choose to fade the title in, fade the title out, which is probably a good idea um, so that it's not super choppy. And I'm not going to mess with the kerning. The kerning is like the space between the letters. I'm not going to mess with that. Um, baseline. Whoop. You can see how the baseline kind of moves, um, like the imaginary line that the letters are sitting on. You probably don't need to adjust that. Parallax is going to move it from left to right. Um, we don't need to adjust that, but whatever. It's fine where it is. And then I forgot to mention, you can adjust the opacity a little bit, which, you know, might be good. Um, kind of depends. You can play with it and um, see how it looks see what you think is going to work best and you can always change it if you don't like it. So the title screen there is made but we have to drag it to our timeline. So right down here by the T um, it's going to give us a spot to drop it in there and if we press play it should fade in which it does and our music started which is good and then it's going to fade out. So that's a, just a very basic title, very simple. Um, I really like simple titles. I don't like flashy stuff. I don't like a bunch of animated titles. So that's the only title that I'm going to use in my movie. Um, you can certainly add as many titles as you want to your movie. Go to town if you want to, but I like to keep mine simple. And so for this particular movie, I just, you know, I just have in there what we did and when we did it. That's really all I need here. 
Okay, so that pretty much covers video number three. We went over titles and transitions and, of course, the music. It's a very important part of our movies. And stay tuned for video number four in this GoPro Studio series. So if you want to learn how to create home movies that people will actually watch, whether you're using your GoPro or your phone or whatever you got, um, head on over to GoProMom.com, give me your email address, and you'll get an email from me every week. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. GoProMom.com